Hi everyone, I have a haul today. I have a lot of designer items today. I have a couple of clothes items that I'm going to show and I got some really good finds. This is a lot of garage sale, couple thrift store. I'll jump right in, I'll start with my clothes. Um, I bought this on half price day. Now most times that I buy clothes, I try to wait till half price day unless it's something amazing and then I'll pay full price for it. This was a little pricey, $11, but it was half price. It is from The Gap, and it is like a bodycon. Let me see if I can get a better picture here. It's like a bodycon. This is like a, a dark blue, almost like jean material, and then the side has this black, stretchy material. And I'm not one for tight, tight dresses. At this point, um... I'm still working on me, but this dress does some serious uh, goodness <laughs> for my curves. Um, I don't it, just the way the dress is, is it's kind of like um, what is it what is a body con dress? It works. So that was ten ninety nine. So it was five fifty. Um, these next pants were. These were five dollars, but I thought they were totally worth it. They are Ralph Lauren, uh, what do you call these? Linen, white linen pants. And I just think linen is so pretty in the summer with a tank top and some flip flops. These are five dollars. They're originally 109. They are an 18 and they are pretty big on me, but um, I'm gonna have these tailored because I do love them. Um, well, I'm going to see if my tailor can do it. I don't know if you can do that with linen. If not, I will just sell them. They were just totally worth the $6. Normally, I wear... I don't wear that size, but... Ralph Lauren does run a little small, too. And this is Jones, New York. I love white. Just so you know, I love white. Um, it's this little... Cute little skirt, and it has shorts inside which is a must for me in the summer because I gets the chub rub <laughs> even my daughter who is a lot thinner than I am she gets it too so it's just it's a girl thing if you got thicker thighs so having them shorts definitely helps this shirt was five dollars half off it was 250 I love this shirt it is so so pretty these are the sleeves it looks beautiful with a uh oops sorry looks beautiful with a white uh little dainty white tank top and then the back is just completely sheer it's so pretty though next i have been trying so hard to find a white blazer that looks nice this is by new york and company and this blazer looks really nice it's a little big um it's brand new it's a little big like i feel like i could get it i might try to get this tailored too um but i've just been dying to find a white blazer that looks doesn't look super old school, but looks nice so that I can wear it with uh, a pair of leggings and a tank top or whatever, jeans, whatever. I just I love a nice polished look like that. This next sweater was $5 by Dana Buckman. It is brand new. It's still got the little sticker right here, so it's never been worn. Excuse all my wrinkles. Um, they don't fold stuff <laughs> at the Goodwill. They just throw... Your stuff in a bag but this is like a tunic uh sweater it's lightweight it's very pretty i love the little keyhole there the back and it's just a nice end of summer loungy sweater uh they had a sale not only was it half price but it was also buy one get one on the jeans because they weren't selling them so these were $4, the other ones were $4, half off, they were $2, so it was $2 for two pairs of jeans. 
These are by YMI, and they're dark blue skinny jeans with the fake leather down the leg, and then on the pockets. And the next pair is this pair by Hydraulic, and they are the dark blue. I love with the out, outer white stitch. These are a boot cut. I'm not a huge fan of boot cut, but they work. This is the back, and I love the whiskers and the bleach. So these were two dollars, or no, they wouldn't want to be in a dollar pair. Okay, now for the good stuff. <laughs> Now, most of this is from garage sales. There are a couple thrift store items. And I will start with this was $1.99. It was half off. So it was a dollar for this bracelet and this bracelet as well. It was $1.99, half off. I just thought it was so cute with the little elephants. So those were a dollar piece. Now, the majority of this stuff is garage sale. Oh, wait. This Cole Haan bag was $5.99, half off. It was $3. It's brand new with tags. Originally $1.48. It's this weird, shimmery, shiny, reflective stuff. This is the inside. I wish I had a strap. Oh, it's got a cute little mirror. I didn't even notice that. money in however it does have this I haven't tried to clean it I will um, I don't know what it is but either way I really thought this was a really good deal for three dollars if worst case scenario if I have to after using it a few times dye the outside maybe like black and then the inside would be the shiny silver i'm not really worried about it but kohan for three dollars i can't believe it was still there on half price thing probably because of that blemish uh this next thing was from a garage sale it is a coach wallet it was three dollars i offered her two dollars and she said yes it's really not that dirty i don't know why it's looking dirty oh my boo boo Careful when you wear big cuffs, <laughs> bracelets. I was wearing my big coach cuff bracelet that I showed in an earlier video, and we were moving a dresser out of the one bedroom, and it pinched, and it immediately like blew up. Okay, so anyways, it's coach. It's there, it's got a little dirt inside that could be washed off. But for $2, I thought it was a good deal. Next, I got these uh, she charged me a dollar fifty for all three. This was from uh, Ambats. So this is Designer Skin Night Vision. Essie, I've been finding a ton of Essie lately, and I love, 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 love this color. What is this? It is oh, cut above. Then I got two OPIs. I only buy nail polishes that are OPI, SE, um, and there's another one I can't think offhand. I just don't waste my money on other ones. These look like the same color, but they're not. One is, whoa, sorry about that. One is Meep, 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 and the other one is The Show Must Go On. Uh, next, I found Okay, so remember I told you that I buy uh, random sunglass cases when I see them because eventually I'll find glasses to fill them? Well, this has come into play today. <laughs> I bought these for $0.49 cents or a dollar at one of the thrift stores. And then the other day, I got these Ray-Bans for a dollar. One whole dollar. There's no scratches on them. It's just... Uh, it's some sort of spray that was on them. 
Let me see. Oh, no, I just mucked them up. But anyways, <laughs> there's no uh, scratches on them. These are the Ray-Ban Aviator. Uh, the number is... It's either 3025 or 8025. Need a background. Hi. So, again, these were a dollar. And now I have a case for them. So, less than two dollars for Ray Bans and a case. It's a Wayfair case, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this was from the haul that I did from Savers. If you saw my Come Shopping with me. I saw this and the Dooney and Burke wallet. I did not wind up getting the Dooney and Burke wallet because it had, it was just flaking too much inside. So this was $2.99 for this coach wristlet. I'm not sure who prices. Some days this would be $15 and some days it's $2.99. I, I just, I don't understand it. Uh, this next item was two dollars and ninety nine cents it's beautifully it's hand done it's from this small little uh thrift store that i go to and they are like a church oriented and they donate they do a lot for the homeless uh so this was 2.99 and the lady said that her brother-in-law was the one who made this and some other ones and he would he passed away and left them, and he was charging, I forget what she said, like a lot, like $80, $100, $200 for these because they're all hand-beaded. It is a beautiful bracelet. Like, I just think it would be awesome with that white sweater or that white skirt and a red tank top. I love big cuff bracelets, as you can tell by my boo-boo. <laughs> uh, okay, what do we have next? Garage sale. These were 50 cents each. I bought them both. They are both uh, oops, sterling silver, 925. This, this is really pretty. It's, I, I forget what they call it. It's like liquid silver. And it was, it's sterling silver, 925. And that was 50 cents. And this was 50 cents. It is a sterling silver uh, bracelet, obviously. Charm bracelet. Gosh, my brain. All the charms are silver. This little purse opens up somehow. There we go. Opens up. 925. And this was 50 cents. I always pick up silver or gold, whether I would wear it or not, if it's real, and then I resell it. Um, depending on condition, I either sell it for the scrap or I sell it for the piece. Okay, these next four items I got from the same girl that I got the Tory Burch sandals from that you saw in another video that I paid $25 for. I first saw the glasses. Okay, here comes that by the cases. And she had these two glasses without this case. I bought this case and showed it in another video. Actually, I didn't even get the price tag off of yet. These were, it was either a dollar or 49 cents. So I bought, and these don't have scratches either, they're just filthy. These two, she had these two glasses. She had these Kate Spade. Kate Spade. And these Coach glasses. And she wanted um, 24. Why are these filthy? I wore these already quite a few times, so uh, she wanted $20 for both pairs, so $10 a pair. So I took those, and I looked through her stuff, because she was like, hey, you bought the Tory Bird shoes for me. I love these, though. <clears throat> and I was like, oh, yeah, so I looked through her stuff, and she had this Tiffany stuff, and, you know, I asked her, I said, is it authentic? She was like, yeah, she said it was all from an ex. Now, with the stuff that I bought from her, I really don't have any reason I didn't have any reason to doubt her. So I said, well, how much for both and the glasses? And she sold it all to me for 60 
So $20 for both set or $10 a piece for both pairs of sunglasses and $20 a piece for these. Um, I already took them to my jeweler. They said they are authentic. It's going to cost $25 to have them cleaned and polished and everything. Uh, this is the Elsa Peretti. I forget what it's called. Star something or other. And it's 100% authentic. So I'm going to clean these up. I'm most likely going to give the necklace to my daughter. She loves Tiffany's. And I'm going to keep the bracelet for myself. And this is the bracelet. Please return to Tiffany. And they said they can get all of those nicks out of there. Now also, I know someone had told me that Tiffany's will clean it, but I don't know how much it costs. My jeweler said $25 a piece, so I'm going to see if, if anyone knows how much Tiffany will charge. Uh, please let me know, but for $20 a piece, that was an absolute steal. Uh, I bought my daughter some pens for school for 50 cents. I love the, what are they called? Where they buy all that stuff couponing and then resell it. Stockpilers. I wish I had the patience to do coupons. Uh, this next thing was from that same Savers haul. It was $1.99 for a large Le Sport sack. Uh, crossbody I believe this is a vintage one and it is authentic as I've said in other videos believe it or not the sport sack is faked and just like coach you look for the YKK zippers so for $1.99 for the sport sack it was very cheap this next thing was also from that same haul and this is a Samsonite crossbody bag with leather here, leather here. This was $4.99 and then it has the the long strap and someone's glove. <laughs> Gloves. Gross. They don't seem to check pockets much. I'm going to have to go through this because I found $5 in a purse one time. So they don't really go through. Now, Salvation Army and Goodwill, oh my god, they go through every single nook and cranny in any purse, wallet, anything. And then that's that. I believe you can fit a, a laptop in there. But for $5, that was a really good deal. Last few things. Get these gross random gloves off my table. Uh... This is a flip video. It is brand new. These sell, they used to sell for $150. Um, I don't know if I could get quite that much, even if I got $50. I paid $8 for this. I always pick these up because they always sell, especially come Christmas time. Uh, I bought these. These were, a, these were $2 a piece. She asked, I gave her, I offered her a dollar. She said, sure. We have an ugly Christmas party sweater every year for Christmas. So I figured maybe my friends would want to use that. Or we have a thing called SantaCon where everybody dresses up as Santa and goes downtown and just has a, it's a, just a huge party. There's a lot of fighting Santas at the end of the night. <laughs> and we're all doing it this year for our annual Christmas party. So I figured some, one of the girls could use those for their costume. Now lastly, I seen, I come walking up on a garage sale and I see just the bottom. I was like, oh, <laughs> I hurry over. Not like anyone was near it, but I hurry over. It had a $20 price sticker on. It has since fallen off. Uh, there was a guy outside. It was probably his girlfriend's. And I said, would you take 15 and he was like sure so I got this for 15 it does have that's not a it doesn't have a ton of wear the only wear it has is the handles and I'm gonna try to see if I can get those clean um, it's from all the lotions and stuff that we use these handles just get mucked up quickly so that was $15 
I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that or sell that. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> Thanks as always. So much appreciated. All the comments and likes and 